Hey everyone, this is Bromster and this is number 107 in the Sudoku problem series. Um, this is a Renban problem by Ambrose. Um, first of all, sorry about the long gap. Um, I have not been able to record as much recently and yeah, that's been a thing. Sorry about that. Um, there will be gaps coming up, but I'm hoping to make them less and less. <clears throat> so the goal on this one, of course, is to place the digits in the cells marked with an X. Um, you don't need to worry about placing any others. Um, and the way Renban lines work is they must contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. So if you were to figure out a digit on a line, all of the others must be consecutive with it, um, but they don't have to be in sequence. They could be um, jumbled up. So if you were to take them off and sort them, then they will be a run of digits in order. Um, There'll be a link below to where you can get a copy of this grid to try out for yourself. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video to give it a try, and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so the way I found to uh, work on this one is was um, to start in box five and to ask yourself, where does the one go in this box? Because this line here, if you think about it, cannot take a one. Um, because once you put a one on a line, it must literally go up from the one. You cannot change it. So to be one, two, if you, I was to put a one on this line, it would need to be one, two, three, four, five. I can't go down. So, um, but this four sees all of this line. So I could not put one, two, three, four, five on this line. So the one has to go on this line. Now, once I put one on this line, this line has to be one, two, three, four, and I can't put four in any of those cells. So this becomes the four, um, and this becomes one, two, three. Now, by the digits that are left, left over, it can't be one, two, three, four. This becomes five, six, seven, eight, because it sees all of the others. And these are already consecutive. So this digit here has to be either at the low end of those consecutive digits or the high end. And it can't be four, five, six, seven, eight, because that cell sees a four. So this has to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have this line to think about. Now, this is a five cell long line and every cell in it sees a nine. So if I start at the bottom, it's one, two, three, four, five. And if I start at the top and count down, the top being eight, because it sees a nine, it's eight, seven, six, five, four. Both of those runs contain four and five. So I have to put a four and a five on that line. But those two cells and those two cells all see a four. So this has to be a four. It's the only place I can put four on the line. Now I look at this line and realize that this four sees every spot on that line. So I need a run of five digits that does not contain a four. And the only way to do that is five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I start any lower than nine at the top, I end up with eight, seven, six, five, four, the same as I did down here, or anything lower will contain a four and I cannot put a four on this line. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And because of these two nines, I cannot put nine in any of those cells. This is the only place for the nine. And that is the solution to this problem. Um, nice medium difficulty one to get back into the swing of things. Um, I really like this one. Thank you, Ambrose, for submitting it all those months ago. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the series. Hopefully you enjoy these problems. Um, I will try and get more of them out soon. soon. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.